Hello and welcome back to another episode of Battletech. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Swan Song campaign. It's time to continue with our very first five score mission on this playthrough where I'm trying to beat the game on the literal hardest difficulty, everything cranked up to the maximum. Our first five score mission will be a weapon shipment. And there is quite a bit of salvage to be had um, in pure uh, fashion of the pirates. And for that mission, I'd actually like to get Mox back in. We'd like to have kind of the best team available for us. Mox Hogbite, Bradford and Reaper. The only problem is a slightly injured uh, Annihilator, but that should be fine. Martian Biome uh, by no means is the best thing for us. I, I mean, the Annihilator works well even in those environments, but the rest uh, has the tendency to become quite hot. Specifically, if you fight against a larger force of enemies, that is not optimal. Good. Let's jump in and see how well we can do. Good. Time to jump into the mission. Here we go. Martian Biome 5 school mission, the first one of this playthrough. We're going to take it nice and slow. No, we're actually not because we need to intercept that convoy. That will only happen if we're sprinting from with heavier maxes they are of course not as fast typically speaking i'm looking at you banshee as to be the exception of the rule and no just like the protect the mission uh protect the device missions in xcom we're not really scaling to uh, towards the end game these missions here are also not necessarily scaled to be done with heavy max what i notice is that they will still assume that you can rush in just as fast as with other max good destroy the convoy destroy the escorts right don't want to get that extra heat That. holy moly okay well here we go right affirmative gotta still sprint with the assault max elsewise this potentially not going to work out well the heavy mix will take cover in the whirlwinds and you can just see we're talking Assault mix only. There's nothing else happening here. Nope, I'm not going to show myself. We are moving over here. There is a victor. And I think we're just going for the vehicles. Receiving you. There are a lot of vehicles though, so that's much less scary than I would have thought. Piece of cake. Mainly because those weapon platforms, I mean they pack a sizable punch, but typically speaking, they're not as dangerous as the max. Oh, wait a second. What? Umbra cannon? Ooh. Wait a second, my friends. Moving up. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, that's going to happen. Indirect mortar fire. Primary target is damaged, Commander. Primary target damaged, secondary target damaged, tertiary target damaged. Every target is damaged. Got something you want done? No shooting, just running. Come on, people, let's make it happen. 
Yes, Commander. But we can use the Orion theoretically. A spade. I would like to attack that vehicle over there. Okay, moving up. On the move. We're definitely going to go in with vigilance. And let's kill the SPPC carrier. Let's Good. Do this. One down. I've been center locked. But we're still having 40% damage reduction. On the move. Moving up. And this potentially could kill the, uh, the SPPC carrier. Heavily, heavily damaged, but not able to get it down. Alright, the Orion will now take damage. That was Reporting heavy damage. very much foreseeable. Ready for orders. Hawkbite moves over. And let's hit that victor where it hurts, right in the torso. Oh boy, now it is time to receive some payback, right? Annihilator moves up. How do we want to deal with you guys? I mean, we could just go for the victor, potentially the biggest. Well, actually not. I mean, medium laser. Those PPCs are ruthless. I don't want to get in trouble with them. Potentially a bit of an overkill there. Vehicle trash. Yep, now we're going to get the entire retaliation. And contrary to my uh, to my original idea, we unfortunately got the annihilator in up front. Hot damn, let's do this. Commander All right, Orion moves into 40% damage reduction. And let's just try to get that dem dem demolisher down. Copy that. Warning. No enemy reinforcement detected. Well, that is too, like enemy too fitting for the situation. Of course, enemy reinforcements arrive. I think the SPPC carriers might be a, bit, a little bit more dangerous. Mitigating damage by focus firing is the way to go here. There we go. One for the scrappy. Ready for orders.
Annihilator moves over. Definitely Vigilance and... Make sure that that demolisher cannot shoot. Okay, fantastic. I think we're going to leave the Thumper and the second uh, Mortar Cannon. Good. We're not going to shoot with the cannons. Uh, they'll... They'll get a bit of a recharge time. Engaging target. Hitting the victor twice. Reducing Come our on, heat. People, let's make it happen. Yes, Commander. Commander. Awaiting orders. All right, moving over. Another demolisher. Let's make sure that that guy does not act on our initiative. Target locked. Enemy vehicle destroyed. And thankfully, we could easily destroy it. Yes, Commander. Ready for order. Annihilator moves up, reduces heat. Something I can do. Out. Time to hopefully kill this Victor. There we go, Victor down. Hostile eliminated. Shark moves up and we're reducing heat. Three solid hits. Took a hard hit there. I appreciate that. No retreat. Standing by. It's right here. Let's again focus on one area at a time. Aye, aye. Copy that. Moving over. And I'm using a second call shot. Engaging target. Just to make sure that we're not taking any damage. Supporting vehicle destroyed. But there are reinforcements. Standing by. On the move. Time for Limited. us to reposition all of our mechs, and we're slowly but surely moving to the evic zone. I am expecting that we're going to run into them. Okay, so far it's just a single heavy mech. Catapult. A lot of LRMs. Commander. Moving out. All right, moving over. Vigilance. And let's sensor lock that catapult. Okay. 
taking minimal damage. The Orion soon yeah. needs to what move back. For now, we're still fine, but like that won't uh, last forever. Location confirmed. Time for some LRMs. Got it. All right, the Orion definitely needs to move back. I can't take much more of this. Receiving you. Annihilator moves up. Vigilance. And we're just having a single cannon to fire. That, however, worked relatively well. Thumper cannon almost in range. Moving as close as we can. Full shark. And we can hit three. That is fantastic. Engaging target. The bull shark is just too much fun. I am enjoying it way too much. Damn, let's do this. All of them received phenomenal amounts of damage. I think it would be fair to just put the Orion back here. Yeah, they are continuing to focus it if I'm not uh, moving it back and that is okay. Annihilator moves up, positions themselves nicely behind that hill. And this here should be a good starting point. Oh, fantastic. See, if they are nicely, uh, mm, nicely worked up by the Thumper first, then they are so soft. That they will almost always fall. Moving up. Thunderbolt certainly can hit this guy. All right, Bull Shark moves up vigilance because I want that forty percent damage reduction. And let's go for the Thunderbolt here. Fully unloading. He had nothing. Like that guy. Had zero damage reduction. Damage minimal. Awaiting orders. Good to go. Moving a tiny bit back so that we're out of range, and I just want to make sure that, the, uh, that he will be knocked down. Holy shit. Alright, that worked well. Just lost all of the weapons short of one la uh, large laser, so not even sure if it's worth continuing to hit the Thunderbolt at this point. Rifleman moves up. And really exposes themselves. Yes, Commander. All right. Annihilator moves in. Vigilance. And let's get this guy down. Target acquired. 
Fantastic. We waited with the UAC-10, so that next round uh, it will not have the refire, the refire uh, Malus. Good, and well, this might as well be a kill. Fantastic, another knockdown. Affirmative. Alright, the Thunderbolt has like one large laser left over. And he does not even manage to hit with it. Yes, Commander. We're staying behind, I really don't want the Orion to get into trouble. Roger that. Taking a range shot. Rifleman is almost down. We can move in next turn. That's some pretty solid hits there. Since specifically the AT, uh, AC-20 is a bit of a problem. All right, position. Orion finishes the rifleman. Target neutralized. One large laser from the Thunderbolt. It's the bull shark. Not much of an effect. Okay, let's see just how much damage we can do up front. Affirmative. Holy shit, we almost caught him. Scored a critical hit. Victor lost up, half of everything that he had. One could say he has gone through a divorce. Moving up, and let's continue with that. I got he did survive that. Oh, too bad. Structure exposed, and he still has the nasty AC-20, right? Bull shark moves up, and this will be a kill. Enemy mech destroyed. No retreat. All right, opened an arm as well. So far, we're fine. Armor breach. Internal damage. Yes, command. Position confirmed. Good, fantastic. Let's hit this guy. Oh, nice hit on that one. Nice hit. Good reserve. And can we melee attack? Yes, we can. Acknowledged. Damn it. We missed that one. Commander. Okay, let's try again. Send a tour, so... That's a kill. Okay, so that was uh, three lances worth of enemies on a five-school mission. Ooh, pretty fitting. But I think our uh, lance did well. Better than expected, to be honest. Um, we were lucky that 
the first kind of defenders were mainly comprised out of escort vehicles. And just look at that. Uh, we even get 35% bonus. Unfortunately, that does not translate to the salvage. Got some victor options here. All right. No special weapons other than the AC-20. Which I will just take for good measure. And that catapult is a decent, I would say decent, um, missile boat. So that would work well. The problem, uh, problems with the AC-20s that I do have is you got to be really careful, uh, specifically in the later parts of the game, because 100 damage can mean an instant kill if your head is being hit. So far, miraculously, none of our mech warriors died. So that's a good one. But it can happen, specifically in the end game. Okay, four and a half million. It's a good start. I think overall we're going to go for piloting because we want that extra ability here. Training confirmed, Commander. Yeah, we don't need that. Plus 20% maximum um, sprint. That is good. Because it will allow us on those heavy mechs to just get more evasion going. Tactics, we want the called shot bonus. Lily is progressing yes, and, and getting go. some good skills. Yeah, Mox, we still Awaiting are orders. saving here. For Although, I think... Yeah, not really Commander. a large benefit for having piloting five. As for Shen, we're, uh, as for Tigen, we're fine. Good. We're repairing our stuff, and then I think it is time to hit the road check. Can we upgrade anything on our Orion? Potentially not. We also don't have another assault mech. Not yet. So repairing that here would be fine. Any equipment? Not really. Did we have SRMs? Yeah, plus 50% crit chance. You know what? Now is a good time to exchange that. It's not going to change the uh, change all too much, but it is okay. The com system. That's a good one. Are we going to leave it in the Orion? I think we're okay for now. Just wait a second. Medium lasers. Any specific medium lasers? No. We haven't done a meaningful um, flashpoint yet. So no medium laser upgrades. And if I recall correctly, short of that Highlander, which we don't really need now, there isn't really that much. I mean, yes, we can, we could go for extended range medium lasers, but there is no need to do that yet. Okay. Good, so that is a fast upgrade. Our missile boat, I think we can optimize that a bit. Annihilator certainly can, at the moment, not be upgraded a lot. We just don't have better gear. But for our missile boat, I think that we can do a bit better. LRM-20s, 
Well, those are triple pluses, so that's actually quite good, specifically the stability damage there. We got some real damage on those guys, or some more stability damage. I think we're fine. Listen, this thing here has worked very well as a setup. No need to change it now. We're not going to get any better equipment if we're not looking for some flash points. So let's give it another go and see. Those were all against pirates. This bad boy here is a two and a half, um, two and a half skull flashpoint. What's the underlying system looking like? Four and a half skull. Well, that's better. By thinking about it, it might not be an absolute bad idea to go there. Four and a half over here isn't bad either. And this one here, of course, is good as well. So maybe we're going with the three and a half. Um, let's see, 11 uh, days of travel, 9 even only here. Ooh, that's good. I like uh, it, but that's 4.5. A, a lot of kind of short range travel. Uh, travel. That here is tropical. 9 days, so almost nothing. You know, the problem with the 4.5. Um, system is not sure if we're going to have enough uh, work potentially a better idea to go here and hope that we can uh, get some uh, some more um, reputation and then then we're going to go here and eventually up here into uh, Prim uh, Primos. What's this here? This is still the tournament. I mean, we could do the tournament. It is an, a relative fun event. And I mean, you could make, look, you could make the argumentation, right? Um, that by doing that, you're freeing up another flashpoint. The underlying, uh, the underlying system certainly isn't great there are advantages though there is a black market so that in itself could give us something we could get some more reputation with the capellian confederation but here we could get reputation with two um, at the same time the flashpoint really doesn't give you any noticeable reputation with anyone i mean the cash price is, isn't isn't bad but we're essentially we would only go here for that cash price and maybe i'll behind the scene do one or two missions just to grab some more cash so that is possible as well hmm. let's do the flashpoint because i wanted to show you flashpoints that's 14 days and then from there we can easily fly back so setting course to another flashpoint. The last time I skipped that flashpoint. We got an alliance offer from the local pirate uh, organization. We're not going to do that right away. Uh, basically what is happening now is the pirates kind of realize like we're absolutely down with them. Uh, the problem is once you ally with a faction, you can only do missions for that faction, which would be sort of fun because we're then like a true pirate. And maybe I'll do that towards the end of uh, the campaign just for uh, for a bit of fun. But I want to show you some more flashpoints and also some more five school missions. And the pirates are not necessarily known to have the most five school missions. Very good. All right, we have nothing more to uh, to work on. I'm keeping the ship as is. There's really not a 
huge need to further upgrade it. We have the fastest, uh, we have the fastest uh, travel speed, and everything else would just drive up costs. At the end, you are kind of sitting there with highly paid mech warriors, and oftentimes you have like a million-ish run costs. So there's actually an argument to be had to not upgrade the entirety of uh, the ship because. If we're looking at the rest of the ship, like uh, Gamma Pods here, okay, could give you space of up to 24 mech pilots. I, I've never used that many. I think it's from a design perspective a bit odd to have that. More mechs? Yeah, I guess that's fine. Uh, all of this here is just uh, greater um, morale, which we already have. A little bit faster healing time, that's fine, but that just doesn't justify those average costs that are piling up 8,500 here and 20,000 here that happens every month by the way um, the other topic here would be to have that extra mech bay but another 50 grand completely completely unacceptable let's take a look at the contracts here before we end today's mission just to see what's theoretically available behind the scenes I want to give you that overview and then we're going to do the flashpoint the next time and see what else we want to do i'm essentially just going through the available contracts and we'll hopefully increase some of our reputation cool not the worst uh, start so that would be three options to to improve to honored I think we can do that I think we can do that we're certainly not going to work against the pirates that that would be stupid but yeah I mean this year is a million this year is a million one hundred so having two maybe three million plus uh, uh, plus uh, the million from the flashpoint would give us enough funds uh, to work with whatever we do have. The one thing that I haven't checked out is the store. Because here, if, I, if my memory serves me well, we had a uh, black market. So we're going to look into that in a second. Archer is an interesting mech. Cyclops is an interesting mech. That's the one that has the initiative module in it. The rest is not as interesting. Cockpit mod is good, I think. Are we going to do that? No. Rangefinder is also not too bad. Uh, that allows you to basically have a bit higher rangefinder. Uh, could be something that, for instance, our um, our annihilator uses. However, it does not improve, in, increase your range, it just increases the view distance and that allows, it's, it's decent for sniper builds that do not have a spotting, a spotting mech right next to them. On the black market, that's what I'm talking about, Atlas right here, 11 million and three Atlas parts. Oh my gosh, this is most likely going to be what we're going to buy ourselves because that could be an entire atlas. And this guy is uh, the king of the battlefield, one of uh, the best mechs in the game. So might as well go for it. Three parts of the Highlander series here. That's an interesting one as well. Highlander, highly flexible series. Lots and lots and lots of room for damage. So I appreciate that as well. It's a good, it's a good mech. And we got, since we're now honored, we have like the 10% discount. LRM 20 plus plus plus. For a missile boat here we go USC 10 plus plus that's what we were looking for 
that will give additional uh, that will give uh, will give additional firepower exchanger is good com system plus 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 is fantastic so yeah let's make some money and let me buy a few of uh, those items without um re-judging what we're going to buy i would probably go for the atlas that's 3.3 million then we got to be careful i don't want to purchase too much but there is a good chance that i'm going to take the com system plus 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 as well it's just too good uh to uh to pass that one and together with the atlas we would have a fine setup for uh, for a really good mech like their standard uh, setup just hurts incredibly but if i can upgrade that it could uh, it could be such a nice brawler or an lrm boat even if we want to do that like the atlas is fantastic and I'm just realizing we already have one port, so that will save us another million, which in return we might be able to invest into the exchanger here for extra damage, heat reduction. Good. So many good items. Uh, that is fantastic. Let me uh, end uh, today's episode here. We're going to uh, going to the flashpoint uh, within our next episode hopefully are winning the tournament and beating all of the uh, competitors and then we're going to I'll, I'll do some cash missions in the background so that we can get the atlas and uh, would be ready for kind of like a full-fledged five star uh, five school system thank you for watching guys if you enjoy the content please leave a comment down below and a like and see you in the next episode bye bye